trying once again to put to an end Africa's deadliest conflict. For over 20 years, this war in the East has devastated large areas of the Democratic Republic of Congo, killing and displacing millions, much of it fueled by the lucrative trade in minerals. The United Nations is pushing for the disarming of dozens of rebel and splinter groups, and a planned joint offensive by UN and Congolese troops will soon be launched against Hutu rebels in the eastern DRC. But experts like Andre Rue are concerned that it might not be enough. There has to be some form of a new operational plan, whether it's deployment of additional forces um, or some mechanism that uh, will address action against FDLR. So the political angle is an important one, but the fact is in an area the size of Europe, a jungle, it is extremely difficult to identify one out of 50 armed groups, who they are, where they are, and to be able to neutralize those military forces. So you need a very specific counterinsurgency type of policy. This is not a normal combat intervention, war fighting situation. The possible deployment of an intervention force from SADC or the AU through a CERC would be more for political independence than for the combat capability it brings. South Africa, along with Tanzania, provides the bulk of the United Nations pioneering force intervention brigade in the eastern DRC, where around 50 Congolese and foreign armed groups are still active, raising concerns among South Africans that their troops will be risking their lives once again in Central Africa. I am worried. Uh, I remember the incident that happened last year with our, our troops there. They were killed. And remember those people there, some of them, they are fathers. Now the children are fatherless, the wives are suffering with the children. I think generally a lot of people will be concerned, you know, given the dangers they're exposed to. Uh, but nonetheless, do we as South Africans also realize that we've got a responsibility, you know, as part of SADC countries and as part of AU, South Africa is a very important member and it tends to have the resources you know, to, to play an important role you know, to ensure that there's peace and stability in the continent. South Africa has had a major role in bringing peace to the Eastern DRC for over 10 years. But the question remains, will South Africa send more troops to Central Africa? A decision that may be taken when African heads of state meet later this month in Angola to decide how to disarm Rwanda Hutu rebels. Julie Shire, CCTV, Pretoria.